What's up guys, so Apple released the GM version of iOS 5, which is basically the last beta before the final release coming next week. And for those of you who want to get your hands on iOS 5 early, I'm going to show you how you can do that. It's really, really simple. I did it on my personal iPhone a number of times just to make sure that it works, and uh, I didn't have any problems whatsoever. So uh, I'm going to show you guys how to do it as well, and hopefully you don't have any problems either. So basically what the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to find the iOS 5 GM um, firmware file. I'm going to have a link down in the underbar that will lead you to this site which is going to have every single iOS 5 GM um, firmware file that is supported. And uh, you can download them from this site as well. Just go ahead and find the one that is specific to your device. Um, most of these are pretty self-explanatory um, but GSM is going to be for AT&T and CDMA is going to be for Verizon. Same with the iPads. Um, that's pretty much the only thing that should uh, give you questions. Everything else is pretty self-explanatory. Just make sure that the uh, iOS 5 GM file is specific to your device or you're going to get an error when you try and update. Now once you have your specific iOS 5 firmware file downloaded to your computer, save it to like your desktop or your document somewhere where you can find it later because you're going to need it. And the next step we're going to need to do is uh, we're going to need to download iTunes 10.5 Beta 7. So just go ahead and scroll on down until you see the iTunes tab and make sure it's iTunes 10.5 Beta 7. Now this site is going to have one version for Mac which is all you need and it's going to have two versions for Windows so if you're on a 32-bit machine or a 64-bit machine make sure you download accordingly download iTunes beta 10.5 uh, make sure it is beta 7 or it will not work um, again just follow on the site and it'll lead you to beta 7 download it install it and uh, make sure one of the things you could do is make sure that you restart your computer after iTunes has installed just to make sure that everything installed correctly and that there aren't any errors. Once it is installed you can go ahead and open up iTunes here and uh, go up to the top left corner click on iTunes then click on about iTunes and uh, it'll read off the version iTunes 10.5 beta with a whole bunch of numbers that means you're on the correct iTunes and that means you can upgrade to iOS 5. So once you have iTunes installed and the correct iOS 5 beta firmware downloaded to your computer, again, make sure that you know where iOS 5 is on your computer so that you can locate it later. Um, once you have everything all set up, all you have to do is connect up your device, whatever device you want iOS 5 on, connect it up through the USB to your computer. Now, make sure everything on your device is synced to your computer. Sync it more than once because you may or may not be able to use your previous iTunes backup. Some people, the backup from 4.3.5 or earlier, um, you, are be, you, you will be able to restore back um, and use iOS 5 with your backup. However, some people, their backup is not compatible, it doesn't work, and uh, you're going to have to start over from back to settings when you upgrade to iOS 5. So just be warned, if you really want to do this, you have a chance of losing all the data that's on your device. So just be warned. Again, I'm not responsible if that happens to you. I'm just warning you ahead of time that you could lose your data. Now if you still want to do this, once again make sure everything is synced, sync it more than once just to be sure. And all you have to do is if you're on a Windows you're going to hold down the shift key and if you're on a Mac you're going to hold down the alt option key and uh, hold it down and as you're holding it down click the restore button. This will give a little pop-up window and it's going to ask you to select your iOS 5 um, beta firmware and you're going to want to locate it wherever you saved it. This is why I told you to make sure you know where it's at. Um, if you know where it's at, find it, then click on either corresponding um, iTunes uh, firmware. Make sure it's IPSW and not zip. If it's in a .zip format, just change it to IPSW and save it. And uh, once it's IPSW, just click open, and it will begin restoring to iOS 5. I've already done this on my device, like I said, so I'm not going to do it again. But again, all you have to do is click open. It will start restoring, and um, after a couple minutes, you'll have iOS 5 beta on your device. You don't need a dev account. You don't need your UDID registered. The GSM, I mean, uh, the GM version is 100% compatible with everyone. You don't need it registered. You don't need anything. It's just going to restore and update, and that'll be it. 
Now, if you get any errors while updating to iOS 5, please send me a message or post a comment down below and I will do my best to help you out. There are a few known errors which I will have fixes for them down in the underbar or down in the comments with other people. They're not difficult, um, they're just little common iTunes problems, but again, I will have a whole bunch of fixes for them either in the underbar or in the comments. Um, I hope this worked out well for you guys. If it did, be sure to post a comment down below letting us know that it did. And be sure to let us know what your favorite iOS 5 feature is. And I'll see you guys in the next video.